Okay, this is going to be your full current up to date state of Escape from Tarkov cheating video. This video is going to have a lot of information in it. This is as accurate as a current state of Escape from Tarkov video that you're going to get. There's going to be some bad news in here. There's going to be some good news. This video is based on about a month of research now. We are about six weeks into the wipe. It's the 5th of October where I am. I usually do one of these about every four to six weeks, sometimes eight weeks, it just depends. A lot to talk about in this video. Uh, a lot of stuff has gone away. A lot of stuff has come back. Uh, if you wanna skip forward into the video, there's gonna be chapters. Before I get into the video, I just want to say in the comments, any mentions of cheating websites or cheating or talking about if some, I get people coming to the comments all the time saying, oh, I've been cheating for two years and I've never been banned. Everyone that's in my comments has never been banned and they've been cheating for years and years and I, I just block those people, okay? And the stories of, oh, my friend's been cheating for four years and I just block those accounts as well. Especially the guys that tell the stories, my friend has been cheating and my friend does this and no, you get blocked. Firstly, in this video, so the main bands that I've seen going through all the cheating communities, all the cheating threads is via manual band since the start of wipe. I cannot find one band wave this wipe where a cheat has been wiped out, which is since I've started doing this and from as long as I can remember, there always is band waves at the start of wipe, always within the first month or two. And it is just really strange that there's been absolutely none. I honestly thought we'd, we'd have a few to report on at this point, but there's just been none. I can't find any. However, the manual ban rate for players cheating is very high. Uh, every single cheating community has members that are being manual banned, even DMA cheating communities. The manual ban rate is higher than than ever. The I'm not sure how they're going around uh, manually reviewing people that are cheating. It would be a lot of different things, but somehow accounts are getting flagged. They're reviewing them and that's pretty much the end of them. Now, I have said this a lot of times on my channel. The best thing for the game, for the state of the game, is in fact ban waves mixed in with manual reviews and, and manual bans. And I've never seen them get this far into a wipe and not have any ban waves. It's a little bit weird. I I know that a lot of players prefer that they crack down on players that are an issue quicker and get around to manually banning them, where, whereas in the past they wouldn't because that a lot of people don't know, but those people will be flagged for an up and coming ban wave and they'll hold off on the bans instead. Now, I know what's better for the game. I've said it a thousand times on this channel and it's a ban wave because the way cheating communities work is they... Every single person that's using the cheat, they can report a ban. So how that works is if someone gets banned, they then say what uh, features they've been using, they say what they've been doing, and then very quickly a cheating community can work out what the issue is and they can either disable it on the cheat or advise the other users of that cheat to stop doing the same thing. And it saves the entire rest of the people using that cheat from being banned. And it, it it's... 100% better for the game to for BSG and BattleEye to hold off and take out entire cheating communities than just 10, 15, 20% of them throughout six weeks when they become an issue. So not sure, maybe they're testing something, maybe they're testing the difference before release. I don't know. I hope they go back to ban waves and manual reviews instead of just manual bans. We'll see what happens. There could be ban waves coming up. We just don't know. Okay, so something I'll just quickly get into. The loot. Cheaters being able to see loot inside of containers and read valuable items or whatever items they're looking for inside of anything on the server or inside of anything in that raid they still can't do that now i had a ton of people in my comments all those type of guys i've never been banned i can see what loots my cheat can see what loots in containers now that's why i just block all these people if a cheater ever tells you anything or if someone ever says to you 
oh, I knew a guy that cheated or my friend cheats and he said this, don't ever believe them. Do not ever believe anything they say unless they prove it to you. That's how I operate because 90% of the time, those guys are just complete liars. They're just, they're never right about anything they say. Just do not believe them. No cheat that I can see anywhere in Escape from Tarkov can read loot inside of containers now. It's just not happening anywhere. Not even for DMA cheats. And I actually interviewed a guy who was using a DMA cheat recently. He couldn't see loot in containers and he said himself that even DMA cheats, which are the best out, they can't even see what's inside of anything. All they can see is loot sitting out in the open like you see on your screen here. Uh, I'll show you guys a video, an older video where where they could see what was inside of a anything, a jacket, a crate, all that stuff. Instantly see what's inside it as soon as the raid starts. No more. It's it's all gone. It's all randomized now. Uh, it's randomized when a player opens it. So cheaters have to move around. They have to loot. And it might just be the state of EFT now. Cheaters actually have to move around the raid and loot instead of just running straight to their quest items, straight to the valuable loot and just getting out. Okay, so there is a couple of cheat features that were removed for quite some time that are now back in the game. The looting through walls was something that was completely removed by 90% of cheats or even more. A lot of cheats completely removed it because of how unsafe it was to use and its high ban rates last wipe. Now, something I've noticed this wipe is that loot through walls is back in a lot of cheats. It's very common for a cheat to have loot through walls now. That's one that is back in full swing again uh the distance it seems it seems the distance has been lessened where if you look, kind of look at the older footage they could grab things that were pretty deep inside of a room whereas now it's only items that are on the like exactly on the other side of the wall very close to the wall that they're looting through uh so the distance has been lessened but it is back again a lot of a lot of the one pc cheats have that loot through walls back again it's because it was full Fully added back in everything. It's not a really hard thing to do. It's just that the range of it got shortened. So you can only reach things like one meter away now, and it used to be three. So it, it you used to be able to really grab things through walls. Like if if you still see a black key card instead of green right now, you can still grab it. You'll be fine. But if you were to see, say, a Bitcoin in red and it was on the table on the other side of the wall. You can't grab it now. Uh, I notice also a lot of these cheats have the extended lean. Now, that's more so not something that people would use on players unless they were expecting to be banned. However, it's more something they'd use on bosses or, you know, maybe raiders and things like that. It, it means that they can be sitting behind cover and shoot something that's a little bit more dangerous without having to expose themselves. They can can farm bosses a lot more easier while in safety and not ever actually exposing themselves or uh, I remember back when this first came out it was really good because um, you'd see like Chinese name cheaters and they'd just run straight for you to kill you and you know if at the time you had a cheat with the extender lean which wasn't very many you know you could just be behind a wall and protect yourself from Chinese account name white names that were just running at you and aimbotting you to oblivion but a lot of these cheats do have it now like a ton of them so that's back heaps as well now i will say this for this video the majority of people cheating in this game they are using very light cheats with with and next to no features because the more features you use and the more things that you do the more likely you are to be banned now i'd say easily 80 percent at least people that are cheating in this game they only use radar or they only just use esp they, they they don't risk using anything else and that is the safest method to cheat in this game and these guys can last quite a long time just doing this it's because they're they're using their own aim they're not looting through walls they're not running around with infinite stamina and doing all this stuff that that has issues and these guys will be killing you fairly often and you won't even know it will feel like it's just an average player and you won't be able to tell the difference and and some of these guys can get away with it for 
wipes and wipes and wipes and eventually it will catch up to them at some point but it's no matter what game you go to there's going to be this issue it's you can quit this game but i promise you no matter what game you go to to get away from it that game is going to have the exact same issue people that just wall and and just use radar are the biggest issue in any game right now it's it's called closet cheating for a reason and a lot of people have a closet cheating teammate a lot of people watch a closet cheating streamer it is very common it happens a lot and there's just there's there's not much to stop it the best thing that you can do is be aware of what cheating is understand the things that someone does when they're cheating and also understand that anyone is capable of cheating don't ever assume that someone is just not cheating because they're good at the game or someone's not cheating just because they're a cool guy or someone's not cheating just because you've played with them and you would know i've been conned by people that were cheating everyone has been conned by people that were cheating and didn't know no. Don't ever assume that someone is not cheating just because you would know that they were. Because I promise you, there everyone has been conned by someone cheating. It's it's very hard to pick, and it's 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 a huge issue in gaming right now. So that's pretty much the video, guys. We are past white. So as the player base dies down, cheating won't be as bad now. I'm not sure what they're doing with this preferring manual bands over a band wave there could be one any day now if there is i'll report on it i just hope they're not trialing doing more manual bands and and you know not letting cheaters get away with not being banned and 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 pushing aside the band waves to choose manual bands over them because it's just it it's not good it's it's kind of like uh when police go for someone who's selling on the corner you know it's just so much better to watch that guy for three four weeks and catch the guy who's importing it all instead of the guy on the corner selling the trash yes you're leaving that guy on the corner for a month to keep selling trash but in the long run you are doing what's best for the street and i, I just hope that bsg aren't prioritizing manual bands this wipe over band waves we'll see what happens they could just be late this wipe if, if it happens i'll let you know that's pretty much the video thanks for watching if you have friends that play this game link them to this video i do one of these every so often the one before this is linked above there's a couple of issues in that that are still going on like the maximum stats feature that a lot of cheats still have right now and stuff like strength and your carry weight and all that ties into how much audio Audio you make in the game and that's still an issue now is where people are being killed by guys that are just making next to no audio and they're not understanding why and they're blaming the game but it'll be because their cheat is telling them the server that their the player is weighing next to nothing and that's why they're making little to no audio that's still an issue now and there's a few others that video is linked go watch that if you haven't and i'll see you guys on the next one